PlayStation. So I've had my PlayStation 5 for, I don't know, about a month now. Um, and when I bought the PlayStation 5, I got it from Best Buy and it was a bundle. It came with the console and the controller, of course, but the bundle had a second controller with it. And I was like, sure, that's great. This is the only bundle I can find right now. And I usually end up getting an extra controller anyways. There is a pretty well-known issue with PlayStation 5 controllers that sometimes the adaptive triggers actually break. They can break in a few different ways, but one of the more common ways is for the spring within the trigger to actually become loose. Unfortunately, this has happened to me with one of my two controllers. I was playing either Overwatch or Fortnite. I can't remember which one it was, but I went to press R2 like you do to fire your gun in most shooter games. And the trigger was just very loose um, and it didn't seem to have any sort of resistance at all. And I'm not even talking about the adaptive trigger resistance. It just was just kind of like floppy. So then I compared it to the second controller I have. And yeah, the second controller, the R2 button was working like normal. Now I could still press on R2 on the broken controller and it would work, but it just didn't feel right. Because this is a pretty wide known issue with the dual sense controllers from PlayStation, uh, I figured there's probably some kind of like recall or replacement program that Sony offers. And I was correct. Essentially, all you need to do is contact PlayStation and they have a replacement program already set up for these controllers. My first instinct was to go to PlayStation's official website and contact them via live chat because I prefer that than talking to people on the phone. But after waiting a few minutes and being connected with somebody on PlayStation live chat, I did find out that this is an issue that does have to be dealt with over the phone. So I will leave the phone number below in the description. That way, if this happens to you, you can easily access that phone number. I had about a 15 minute wait on the phone call. It wasn't too bad. When the customer service representative did answer, she was very, very nice and very direct, which I appreciate. They do ask you a series of questions, really basic stuff like, can you please restart your PlayStation? Is it connected to internet? Can you reset your router? Once she asked me if I could reset my router though, I was like, what does this have to do with my broken controller? Apparently the triggers sometimes break in a way that the controllers can just be reset and then all of a sudden the adaptive triggers will work again. However, after explaining to her that if I shook my controller, I could actually hear the spring in it. She then realized that me resetting my wireless router was not going to solve this issue. From there, she just asked me some really basic questions like my address, contact information, etc. And then she informed me that they would be sending me a prepaid package in which I could ship them my broken controller. And then after they received that, they would then be sending me a new controller. The customer service rep did inform me that once they received the controller, it could be 10 to 15 business days for them to process the request. But she said this was a maximum and that most likely it will not take this long. So that was a relief. After that, it's just three to five business days for you to receive your new controller. Now, lucky for me, I do have my second controller, so I'm still able to play all the games that I like. But if I did not have that second controller, I would be really frustrated. I will say on my second controller that I'm using now, the X button does stick every now and then, but it's not a big issue at all. And I can still play my games a-okay, but it is a little disappointing to see so many issues wrong with these PlayStation DualSense controllers so far. But in the end, I'm just happy that they have a solution in place for these broken controllers considering it is such a big issue. I hope this video helped you. I just want to give a quick update on my controller situation because I know that this is happening to a lot of folks out there. If you did find this helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel because I make videos about video games all the time. So how has your experience been with the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller so far? Has yours broken at all? Is it okay? Do you love it? Comment below.